Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is me again, Marvin, and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin. And this time we're going to be talking about the sneak peek on the August 15 patch in Ragnarok Origin Global. This is a global server. Okay, so let's start. Alright, here we have the Net Nightmare Temple Season 4. Just when you thought that they won't release any further seasons, yet again, they are gonna release. So this is a Season 4, Jungle Force. Okay, Jungle Force. This includes the Demonic Eggy, Angelic Picky, Mutant Dragon, Harpy Queen, and Atros. So Hell Difficulty will be opened in the future patches. But, yep, uh, there's a new Valhalla fund that will be launched since the material to increase your seasonal stat is just going to be, you know, um, different as compared with the previous seasons of Nightmare Temple. Alright, so uh, prepare for the cards, the weapon cards for this set of, of bosses because, of course, you're gonna need it. Next would be Thor Cup Season 2. And it will be in full swing. Okay, so um, by the time that they release the official patch notes, I guess we'll be having more info regarding this. Valkyrie Cup registration. And I, I, I really am looking forward with the Valkyrie Cup because there is a good amount of Nyan Berries that can be, uh, you know, can be won in this event and in this um, cup. Even the non-participants will be getting Nyan Berries here, so I'm so happy about it. Next, of course, Sky City, another pay-to-win event. Next would be... Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> okay, there you go. Next would be Wishing Tree. Hopefully, there is a good chance for the F2Ps to get, you know, F2P things and F2P progression materials for their characters with this one so I'm hoping for another set of that such as what we have here on the previous events wherein we got a couple of Nyan Berries. Next version optimization let's look into this new wishing card uh, card wishing adjustments added a new card guarantee drop mechanism so we now have pity at last we now have, I think this is purple card pity. Hopefully, hopefully this is gonna be good. After the optimized card wish is launched, both the original card wishing and the newer version of the card wishing will be open for one month. So I think it's a transition thing. Adventurers can still use the old version of the card for the coupons for the old. Oh, we'll be getting new card coupons for this one. So it's going to be fair for everyone because uh, those people who are saving their card coupon or special card coupon, um, they're going to benefit if we're not going to get a new card for card coupon for the new uh, wishing card, okay? The card wishing event. So that's good in a way, but it's kind of, you know, sad for those who are uh, saving for the something like this or just saving their card coupons anyway to avoid unnecessary losses please use the old version of the card coupon that you have as soon as possible because it's gonna transition they're gonna take it that way and then there's a follow-up announcement etc etc okay next Juperos optimization let's look at this Juperos optimization oh, uh, Juperos ruins will have the skip yes that's good, that's good, because we have so many things doing right now because of the addition of the home system. We Wait! Don't stop watching! I know you will get excited with this good news I have for you! We have a new partnership in the channel, introducing the King James Enterprise or the KJE. The KJE has been the source of thousands of players for all their discounted top-ups, not only in Mobile Legends, Lords Mobile, Genshin Impact, but also all of the Ragnarok franchises ever since Ragnarok Eternal Love. And KJE is now expanding also to Ragnarok Origin. So are you excited? I am excited. 
just use the promo code below immortal mbgg to get huge discounts on your first top ups and even on your succeeding top ups so what are you waiting for let's top up on ragnarok origin with me see you there the home system which sucks because I think only a few people really acknowledge or admire the home system most of us don't care about the home system I don't know why they put in so much effort in putting a lot of things a lot of daily things on that home system we just don't want it most of us at least okay <laughs> so now we can now skip uh, the Jupiter's ruins and for those who have uh, who are who were unable to do the Jupiter's ruins before or uh, the previous week they can now retrieve there's on, already a weekly retrieval functions uh, after this patch the number of assist chance will be reduced from four times per week to one time per week and the rewards for four assists will be con consolidated into one Number of assist. Oh, the assist. I'm. I'm sorry. My mind. <laughs> okay, the assist chance. So you can now assist one time, but the reward, the reward for one assist will now be consisting of four assists. But now, who will be, uh, who will be doing the fresh jupe? Only the alts will be doing that, because everyone will now be skipping it. Oh, maybe those who are running for the ranked Jupiter's Ruins or the rank on Jupiter's Ruins. I think they will be the only one to go for the fresh uh, Jupiter's Ruins runs. But anyway, still good. You can now only do the assists once a week, but the rewards will be including four times. The same as the four assists, but easier right now. Okay, that's nice. If there are already assist times before the update, it will be regarded as completed after the update. Adventurers who have already claimed assist rewards this week should make sure to complete all four assists before the update to receive the full rewards. Okay. The skip function does not grant leaderboard rewards. Oh, the adventurers who, who wish to rank on the leaderboard should participate in at least one manual. Okay. That's uh, reasonable. Okay. Home feature optimization. Yes. I'm sorry about my my voice. Yes. But it did not say which one. Please, oh please, the skip function may it be easier easier to obtain more skip tickets. Please. Please, please, please. Anyway, add two purple cards, card giant, whisper and mutant savage babe. Okay, we'll be looking at the effects of this too, but it's just, you know, the sneak peek. Next, added AFK function mechanism. Okay, mechanism. Oh, it, it did not say. How do you... Okay, there you go. They added also AFK punishment mechanism for Moonlit Arena. So, uh, no, there's a lot of people. This has been quite, you know, something to be annoyed when with the moonlit moonlit arena for a year already since it has been released a lot of players are just afking it and for those of uh, for those players who are afking it um i will i would be true to myself if i would be farming moonlit arena i would just be afking it also but now it's not possible well it's still possible but you would have a punishment maybe uh you know a couple of minutes that you cannot join the arena if you were caught AFK. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, the the conditions though is not yet specified here. Oh, it's not. You cannot see it. How? Hopefully you can see it now. Can you see it now? Uh. Oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> there you go. Okay. AFK punish uh, punishment. Um, mechanism for the moonlit arena i'm so sorry about that but anyway that's it uh a full patch again 
when the patch comes and hopefully i will be available by that time thank you everybody for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe if you happen to like this video please do leave a like share this to your friends and click that bell notification button to get notified every time i upload a new video start a new screen stream or a new <laughs> content scream new scream <laughs> that's it thank you everybody for watching see you again on the next video bye bye now i found you